Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new trailer, and a lot more in this video that we need to go over, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, we do have a bunch of things to go through, but for now, if you haven't checked out my latest video, they just released the first look at Bart Allen who is coming to The Flash in the penultimate episode of the season. Click on the top right corner of the screen if you missed that. But we have to go over the trailer for next week's episode of Supergirl, also they released some photos for that and they also released a first look at Azzy's Guardian suit. And one more thing, yes we have four topics to go over in this video, is in regards to a potential Arrowverse film coming out. Now, that is just a rumour, and we're going to be breaking it down and talking about that at the end of this video. But first things first, let's go over Azzy's new suit as Kelly Olsen, aka Guardian, or Golden Guardian as I like to call her. Because you can see on the screen right here, the CW just released their first official poster for the new Guardian suit. So this is Kelly Olsen, she is going to be suiting up in, I don't know how many episodes, but in the next couple of episodes... Obviously, after next week's episode, Supergirl is going away for over 10 weeks because Superman Lois is returning. But then Supergirl will return after and you will see Kelly suited up in the Guardian suit. So I'm super excited because this suit is really good. I love the color scheme with the golden yellow contrasting with the black. I think it looks awesome and it's actually better than the original Guardian suit. But this is like the first poster and they always do this with new costumes that are going to be revealed on the show. So they did that with mon -El, they did that with Rain, they did that when Supergirl was going to have a new suit. So it's a common thing and we were expecting a poster like this for a while. And obviously from behind the scenes photos, if you guys have kept track of my recent videos, we went over a couple of times in some set photos where she was actually fully suited up in the suit. So we already knew what it looked like. However, this poster is really cool because it's like our first official look. Okay, so let's move on to talk about next week's episode. So, this is episode 7, aka the mid-season finale. It's been billed as that. So, you're going to have a long break after this, and Melissa is going to return in this episode. She is going to return to Earth. So, that means she's going to be crossing over back to the main cast. So, Supergirl is going to be with Team Supergirl, which is super, super exciting. And if we go through the trailer and photos... What's basically happening in this episode, as you can see on the screen right here, I'm going to have some shots going along parallel to what I'm talking about, is that Team Supergirl is going to be trying their last attempt to get Supergirl back home. So one of the first shots in the trailer, you have Melissa as Supergirl and her eyes are all clouded up, and that's because she's been taken over by phantoms. I believe there's actually gashes on her neck, so I think she's been attacked once again. And this is going to be like a whole big thing, Zorel is with her in the trailer and in the photos. And they are trying to stay alive essentially until Team Supergirl is able to rescue them. So this is what Zorel says in the trailer, your Earth family must be looking for you. And so I'm pretty sure this means that they've sent a warning sign that they are coming. And then he continues by saying we just have to stay alive long enough for them to find us. So, yeah, Team Supergirl is going to be going on their spaceship. You can see right here, we've got them using, like, the throttle, and they've made a spaceship. This is something new. I mean, it looks pretty much very similar to the tower, but maybe they've, like, built this new place, or they've somehow upgraded the tower into a spaceship. And you can see there's, like, different windows, and that's the kind of main turning point that maybe it's something a little bit different. But Team Supergirl are going to be trying to go to the phantom zone use their new spaceship and get in there but then they've got the restrictions of like the phantoms that they've got captured going crazy at one point in the trailer you see brainy and alex they're being flung out of the spaceship and as supergirl says in the trailer it's going to be really hard for them to come she says if they are trying to save me they're all going to die so it's going to be a life and death situation throughout this whole episode that is going to be the stakes and it's pretty clear that in the Phantom Zones, the Phantoms are definitely chasing after Zor-El and Supergirl. But then on the other side, the journey from Earth into the Phantom Zone obviously is going to be a rocky one. And you can see that by our team members literally flying out of the spaceship. And this is all going to be leading to them all reuniting for the first time in a long time. Obviously for Kara, it goes away like much quicker because time 
doesn't actually move so she's not going to be like aging or anything inside the phantom zone but obviously on the outside it's been like quite a while like a many few weeks for them okay so let's continue and break down the photos so you can see this photo right here of Zorel and Supergirl inside the phantom zone and again this is going to be the last time we're going to be seeing the phantom zone from the inside presumably however it's going to continue a little bit onwards when Supergirl returns because we found out from some behind the scenes photos that they're going to be using the Phantom Zone projector and it's kind of going to tie into Nixley returning. She's going to be around for a bit. Also, Mixie is going to be in the mix. So the story is definitely still tied to the Phantom Zone, but they aren't going to be in it 24 seven is what I'm trying to basically say. Okay, so I believe the next photo is when Supergirl and Zorel realize that Team Supergirl are trying to break in, they're trying to save them because there is a very bright white light on them and they're looking up into the sky and I would presume it is something out of the normal and we know Team Supergirl are going after them inside their new spaceship so I reckon that's what's happening here and this next photo someone tell me why this is so funny but you get to see one of the phantoms in a face mask and I mean like does he actually need a face mask I mean he's like covered in prosthetics there's no way you can see his face, or I don't even think he can breathe. But anyway, you've got David Harewood who directed this episode. He's on set and he's talking to Jason Bear who plays Zorrell and obviously the Phantom as well. And so they're talking about like whatever was going on. Also, David is here directing Melissa on the Phantom Zone set. So it's pretty nice to know that they actually got the directors of the individual episodes, or at least David and like maybe one other director to come and direct the Phantom Zone scenes because we weren't sure because they were filming the normal episodes at the same time as Melissa and Jason were doing their separate stuff way back in January to like mid-February but in the photo you can see Melissa has the contacts on and you know her eyes are all blurry because this is one of the scenes where she is being taken over by one of the Phantoms. Okay so we go to the spaceship and like I said this very much so looks like the fortress I reckon they just like retooled the set. However, it's supposed to be something new unless somehow Jean has found a way to modify the fortress into an actual spaceship. But you got the whole of Team Supergirl here. Nia, Jean, Kelly, Alex, Brainy, and also Lena is here on her phone. So I reckon this is actually like a proper photo from the episode rather than like a behind the scenes still. But moving on to the next photo, we got Nia in the spaceship and she's sitting on one of the seats. I think they've reinstalled and like redesigned a gaming chair. I'm just saying, so that is like a little observation. But yeah, it looks cool and there is like a dashboard and she's about to put a mask on so they're probably about to like blast off into the Phantom Zone. And definitely in this next shot because you got Jean, aka David, and he is about to pull the throttle of the spaceship. So at this point they're 100% ready to launch off into the Phantom Zone. So we got this like nice two shot of Kyla and David and so Alex and Jean are talking about what they're doing so I guess they're just planning and talking about what's to come and so we move on to the next photo we got Brainy and Kelly and we got Jean and Alex talking in the background and so this is all in preparation however we have a phantom problem in this episode so at some point the phantoms are going to take over Nia and Lena as you can see right here so the eyes have turned red and they are bloodshot because that means that they are being controlled and they're going to probably turn into phantoms sometime very soon. However, I reckon they're going to find a way to stop that because, again, this is the end of the phantom story, really. And so we move on from that. We've got the whole team as they're ready to launch, but this time it's not Jean pulling the throttle, but it's Brainy. And so the final photo we have is, again, just like the trailer, and you've got Melissa with the cloudy eyes and she is presumably waiting for Team Supergirl to come save her as they try and survive like it said in the trailer and also there is one line that they say that there is no way out so they're gonna have to find a way out if they want Supergirl to come back and we know by the end of the episode probably one of the cliffhangers is going to be Supergirl reuniting with the team and that is where we're gonna leave off for the mid-season Okay, so let's move on from this on to the next thing. Maybe you guys have been anticipating this. Well, there's been some rumors going around online. I have to say, this is from We Got This Covered. They are the most unreliable source out there. 
However, they put up an article and apparently there is a rumor going around that the CW is considering making Arrowverse movies. So take this all with a huge grain of salt because it's not coming from a reliable source at all. But I wanted to bring it up because obviously you can't trust we got this covered, but the prospect of the Arrowverse and the CW doing films on the characters is something we've been talking about in a weird way, right? Because we talked about like how Ezra Miller showed up in Crisis on Infinite Earths and potentially Grant Gustin might be showing up in the new Flash film they're filming right now actually in England. And so that could be a possibility that Grant might film a cameo for that film. So we've talked about that a couple of times. Also we've talked about the possibility of Melissa showing up in the Supergirl film when they eventually do that. We know they're still working on that and Sasha Calais was recently cast as Supergirl in the DCEU. She's going to be showing up in the Flashpoint Flash film very very soon which they are filming right now. However, we've never talked about like an actual Arrowverse film where they just take the characters from the Arrowverse. No other characters, they're not crossing over but they're just making a Arrowverse film whether it be like a Supergirl film, a Flash film, that would be awesome. So obviously that is like way out there and I think the only possibility for like an Arrowverse film is for like people who aren't like main cast members on a current show. So they could do a Supergirl film in the Arrowverse sometime in the future because they've done that with shows before like they did Batman the Animated Series, and then they proceeded after to do like Batman the Animated Series films like Batman the Mask of the Phantasm. It's been done before, and obviously you had the Breaking Bad film recently, so it's not out of the realm of possibilities, and I would love that. So I don't think a current show right now could have a film about them, but say a couple years down the line or like five years down the line, Something like Supergirl, they could all band together and create a natural Supergirl Arrowverse film. So let me know, what do you think about that? Obviously that is quite outlandish, probably won't ever happen. However, with the possibility of Arrowverse characters crossing over to the DCEU, do you think it's possible that one day there might be like an Arrowverse film, maybe like a crossover? Imagine if they did like Crisis on the Infinite Earths as a huge film, that would have been awesome. Maybe it happens sometime in the future. I don't know, but this is just me theorizing right now. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, let me know down in the comments below what you think about all this. Also, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you're new. And you can click at the top right corner of the screen to watch one of my new videos. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.